Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard earned money on Madden packs? Look no further than my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURDY at checkout for 5% off. And today we are looking at the brand new AKA Jerome Bettis. Okay, so here is Jerome Bettis. We had Gus the Bus last year for AKA. This year we got the Bus. Of course, I'm surprised we didn't get this car last year, to be honest, but 86 speed, 84 acceleration, 88 trucking, 87 brake tackle. And this card is somewhat unique because he has a low COD and a low, even low agility, both under 80, but they gave him an 84 droop move. So we're gonna have to see how this card plays as a left to right guy. I know downhill, he's gonna be super elite with a crazy stiff arm, crazy truck, crazy size at 256. Also, his build's very compact. It kind of hides that weight very well. You know, usually it's a big guy with a lot of weight. He's a 5'11 guy with a lot of weight. And also, I want to see what his build is like in this year's game. Hopefully, it's better than what it was last year. He was kind of skinny last year, to be honest. I mean, he should be built like a like an absolute gremlin out there. But uh, yeah, for the abilities, he does get the uh, special Wrecking Ball X Factor. Three plays on, nine plays off. If you want to spend 700 training, you can make that eight plays off and only... Oh, sorry. Is it three or six? Because here it says six now, but then it says three there. Okay, starts on for three downs. So it starts on for three downs, and then it goes... Oh, sorry, I'm reading this wrong. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, comp is nine. So yeah, it's gonna be nine on, or sorry, three on and nine off. And then if you spend 700 training, it's three on, eight off. And then for the abilities right there, um, he does get bulldozer, armbar, uh, goal line back. I would probably just either run wrecking ball or bulldozer or, or, or armbar to be honest. Um, and we get, we're gonna have to see how, you know, wrecking ball plays compared to freight train, which was obviously broken last year. It shouldn't be as broken, but still will be very good. Let's hop into the game plan. Let's see what Jerome can do today. And of course, make sure you stick around till the end where I will fill out Jerome Bettis's final report and see how good this card really is. And for the emoji of the day, we have the Pro Gamer God 9480. Shout out to the Pro Gamer God for commenting the emoji on last video. And of course, as you've been doing for today's emoji of the day, comment the bus emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. Okay, this is actually our first gameplay, running back gameplay, sorry. First running back gameplay um, of Madden 24 and let's see how it goes so we are in house rules so his x factor should stay on the whole game and there's Jerome right there in the huddle I'm not too sure honestly yeah the build's decent it looks pretty much the same as last year I think the shoulder pads are a little bit bigger he looks to be a little bit bigger than what he was last year but you see right here we're gonna turn this corner here and it's gonna be and like see it's hard to air truck this year air truck I'm telling you power backs and these guys with low COD should I keep them between the numbers uh yeah probably I should keep him between the hashes I'm a guy like this and also i want to see how he's going to move laterally as well with that 84 juke move so a couple of things i want to figure out on this card but um i don't like these two line of the middle hit, hit that hole i'm going to go for the juke there and it's not that good the juke is really not good however wrecking ball is nice wrecking ball is going to be really nice um it's not freight train if you don't know what the difference is between freight train and wrecking ball the main difference is just the fact that with freight train you don't have to do anything it on it automatically triggers a broken tackle animation where with Wrecking Ball, you have to truck or stiff arm. You have to do that move yourself. It's not going to auto break a tackle for you. That's the main difference. And that hole closed up very quick. And you can kind of get those like speed boost animations like using Freight Train. Obviously, if you truck and stiff arm or just spam A, you'll probably, you'll probably get those. But um, yeah, I'm just running this ball down this guy's throat right now with Jerome. But um, yeah, I mean, this is, this is what this card's going to be. You know, I think in a running Madden, this card's going to be one of the most frustrating to face. And this is why Stonewall is a valuable thing to have on your DBs right now. Because if Jerome's out there, man, you want to try to limit those that yardage as much as possible. And you see, I'm I'm just running and I'm just gaining yardage. Like it's just, it's just like he's just falling forward. He's just he's just falling forward, man. And yeah, like I said, we're in house rules, so that so the X factor properties aren't gonna work the same. If I was in a normal head-to-head -head game, um, yeah, it would be off at this point. Um, because it's three downs and it's nine off. So it's honestly, like, are these X factors worth it? I don't know. I feel like I feel like especially for like a power back like this, bulldozer and and, and armbar they're gonna play fine by themselves. Obviously, you kind of gotta pick one. Where with oh why? How did that guy not get out there in time? All right, we might have, we actually had to throw a pass here. I'm gonna throw a pass here. Um, let's throw a quick laser. We can actually try to get. I'm not that good at passing. Like there's not many RB passes in my scheme to be honest. But we can try to make something work here. We'll go trip tight end. Uh, if the flat's open, we're gonna take it, man. We're gonna take the flat if it is there. And we'll see about that. And by the way, yeah, I'll be live tonight on YouTube. Live tonight right here on YouTube using all the new AKA cards. I'm probably going to go buy, go ahead and buy Dion for tonight's stream as well. So if you want to come through, uh, we'll be live right here on YouTube. And also, if you're new to the channel, man, I mean, hit, hit, get, hit that subscribe button at this point. You should be subscribed to the channel. Daily gameplays, daily content. We're the fastest to put this stuff out, man. Um, so yeah, make sure you are subscribed. 
But um, yeah, let's get back to feeding my our boy Jerome Bettis, man, because he's he's getting fed. Jerome's getting fed. Jerome's getting fed today, and that juke move definitely concerning, for sure. I mean, he can't see, like the skip juke's not that great. Even the skip juke with only, I guess like skip juking and juking, I guess like agility and COD do actually play a pretty big factor into, into it, which I didn't even, I never even thought of that, but it does. Okay, I'm gonna call crack toss here. Okay, that's actually exactly what I wanted to happen. If they bring in the end, there's a chance you could actually get outside here with this. Um, there's a chance here right there. We kind of, we kind of get that opportunity. Turn that corner with Jerome and we get a broken tackle. That's just him natural right there, baby. And he can air truck. It does take a lot of momentum to kind of get him into that opportunity, into that scenario where he has the opportunity to air truck but uh there you go man Jerome Bettis this card this card give me a dog man uh, you know I, I think you gotta just kind of keep him more vertical though he's not gonna be your like if, you're, if you've been using Fred Taylor even Ramondre um, it's gonna feel a little bit different than that I should have went for two by the way I don't know what I'm doing but you know I, I think he's you gotta keep him north and south and air trucking and stiff farming especially if you are using his x-factor but even if you're not, I mean, using his weight to his advantage and using that momentum to your advantage, he's he, like, he'll, he'll fall for like three, almost every single touch, basically. And yeah, we already did drop the Jerry Rice gameplay. I'm going to be doing the Jameis Winston gameplay after this one. And then, like I said, we'll be live on YouTube tonight using uh, Deion Sanders, if you would like to come through and see that. But uh, man, I do AKA, I mean, this drop, I think could have been better. Like this drop could have been better, I, in my opinion. Um, definitely like there are some like wasted names like I feel like Leonard Big Cat Williams didn't need to be a part of the first drop Maybe even Jameis Winston. He could have got a better quarterback than Jameis a better name than Jameis I mean, I like Jameis, but I know he's not the you know, the craziest quarterback we could have got But yeah, Warren Moon's gonna stay That guy he's gonna stay as that guy man still even after Jameis is out unfortunately um, I, I think I mean there's no way he, he doesn't get gunslinger doesn't get a lot of the you know the uh, dead eyes and things like that so there's really no way that Jameis dethrones Warren Moon, but we're, you never know. We're gonna have to try that out. You, you never, you never know, man. You literally never know. And wow, very surprised this guy stayed, man. Very surprised. I, I may have jinxed him. Oh, I didn't jinx him. He's actually gonna stay in the game. Okay, I might flip this, honestly. Nah, I'm, I'll keep it this way. I think we think we definitely have numbers to that side. Um, let's go out here with this. We kind of miss a, we kind of miss a tackle, and there's a rare occurrence where Jerome Bettis doesn't fall for eight yards right there, man. Okay, let's try the nine five Willie. Never have called this play in my life, but the 9-5 Willie looks like it has crazy potential. Looks like patience will be the move here. And then hoping we can kind of get our guards out. Like what hole am I trying to pick? That hole right there? I guess so. This card does feel really fast. I'm going to say that right now. I'm going to go for an air truck here. And oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. You just spam that air. Okay. Dude. I, oh my God. I mean, this card has holes. He has his holes, but as a straight up north and south runner he excels like he's gonna like he has his holes his pass catching his agility things like that no juke but as a runner he's a, he's a dog bro he's an absolute dog and for jerome bettis's final report i'm gonna give him 18 stars physical is a clear five his build is crazy his speed's also pretty good acceleration is also pretty good too so for physical it's a five for stats i'm gonna give him a four because to me, you know, the COD, the agility, and the catching is just too low. And I like, me personally, I like having a little bit more mobility. Even on my power backs, there are backs that are like kind of combo. Um, look at Fred Taylor, for example. I mean, you know, he's not a power back, but he's built like one and is elusive, but also can make guys miss in stiff arm. So I like, I like those kind of guys. Um, and I've used Derrick Henry this year and I didn't have much success with him. So like I kind of said earlier in the video, I, like, like to me, the, the clunky backs this year just are not really the wave. So I'm going to give him stats. I'm going to give him a four for abilities, four as well. I mean, bulldozer, arm bar, reach for it, goal line, back balancing. They're all solid. And then the two IP wrecking ball is also pretty good too. But, you know, it's not as OP as freight train, obviously. And then for animations, I'm going to give him a five. The card can break tackles. I'll give him that. I'll give him that right now. The card can break tackles. The guy can run dudes over. The guy feels strong. The guy feels physical. But to me, the misses and stats and, you know, the abilities are solid. But we have running backs with better abilities in this game already. Um, I think Jukebox is better. I think even, uh, you know, Running Back Apprentice is better as well. So I'm going to give him a four on the abilities and an 18-star report for Jerome Bettis. I'm um, still one of the best running backs in the game, if not the best, debatably. But uh, it, yeah, only 18 stars for Jerome because he does have holes in his game. He simply does. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about Jerome Bettis. Are you adding him to your team? And as always, I'll see you boys in the next one.